Hello, my name is Rory Ridley Duff and I'm recording this video to introduce you to the Fair Shares model on Lumio. Um, I'm a co-founder of the Fair Shares Association and in order to teach people about the Fair Shares model um, we've created uh, a group on Lumio which is a collaborative decision making platform um, and you can join it and you can read about how the Fair Shares model works. So if you've not used Lumio before, you search for it with Google. Um, logging into Lumio is very straightforward. If you've, if you've not already got an account, you just click on Login. And then if you have a Facebook or a Google account, you can just use that to facilitate your login to the Lumio system. So this is my dashboard. I'm already a member of some uh, discussion boards on, on Lumio. But what I want to do is to go and find a discussion group about the fair shares model. So I go on groups, find a group, and then I can search. Now when you're searching for the fair shares model, make sure that you write fair shares as a single word, press return, and then it will find you in the directory of public groups, um, the, the group that we're interested in. Now the fair shares model, the example enterprise of a fair shares model, is a public group, so you'll be anybody can find this and I just click through and I can see the first screen. So when you go into the Fair Shares Model Enterprise, the first thing is you see is a general assembly. Because the Fair Shares Model is about cooperation and member-owned businesses, the first thing you see is the general assembly where all of the members congregate. Now at the moment, I'm just viewing this. I can't actually contribute to the general assembly unless I join the organization. Now for this public group, you could, there's no barrier to joining. You don't have to get approval from anyone. Just join the group. And now, as soon as I join the group, um, I can see all of the options available to me. So I can start discussions. I can invite other people. Um, I can also see, importantly, the various subgroups. And this is how um, a fair shares enterprise is structured, or how you can apply the fair shares model to an existing organization. There's a group of directors, so you can invite the directors of your organization into this group and then they can have private discussions. The most important to us are users and labor. Because the Fair Shares model is designed to help member-owned organizations get the most out of uh, their enterprise, we have a discussion board for the people who use the products and services of the organization and a discussion board for people who use them. So if I were a user of this model enterprises services, um, I could join this group in order to have discussions about the services and the goods that are provided and to make proposals, um, have other users with me vote on those proposals. And all of our proposals would be visible to the other members of uh, the enterprise. Now, I'll just show you, I can ask to join. Um, you have controls as a coordinator how you set this up, but I would like to join the user users of this enterprise in discussion. When I do that, I can ask to join the group, and then an enterprise administrator will email me back to tell me whether I've been approved for membership or not. So you can have completely open discussion groups, you can have those where uh, people apply to join, or you can have groups that are invitation only. Right, so let's go back to the labor group. The history behind Fair Shares is it came out of a series of research projects uh, looking at the ways that employee owned businesses work and also uh, multi stakeholder cooperatives, so those where you've got both people who work there as members and the people who use the goods and services as members. So at the heart of uh, Fair Shares Enterprise are the producers, the people who uh, um, create the goods and services, supply the goods and services to others. And if you work in a Fair Shares Enterprise, you can join this group. You'll be, you should be invited in automatically or you can ask if you're not invited automatically. And you then can have discussions online about the goods and services that you produce. You can make proposals just like the users can. You can make proposals just like the directors, just like the investors. You have the same powers 
as uh, the owners of the business. In fact, you are an owner of the business if you're a member of this group usually. Now, in a normal company, all the action happens in the board of directors or the senior executives. But in a member owned business, the most important group um, is the General Assembly, because the General Assembly is where all members come together um, and discuss things. Now, in this General Assembly, I've already just created one discussion thread. I can, I can start other discussions if I want. But what do we want to know about fair shares? So there's a few frequently asked questions that we've uh, already answered for you. So where can you find out more about fair shares? That takes you to the fair shares co-op website. I can read a fair shares constitution, download from Dropbox, uh, a constitution for an association, a cooperative and a company. I can find uh, members of the association who might help me. So you can go and look at our directory of members and find somebody who might be able to give you uh, tailored help. And if you want, you can donate to the Fair Shares Association or even buy a novel that we've recently published called The Dragon's Apprentice. Now, within each um, group, you can have discussions. So we've already got a proposal in this group to set up a Fair Shares enterprise called Learning for Life. At the moment, nobody has stated an opinion on this or given their position. In each discussion group, you can have conversations. So down here earlier, um, we had a, a message that I posted where I'd like somebody to help uh, help me create a fair shares enterprise. So is there anyone who can provide uh, some legal advice on employment? So different people inside a Lumia group will have conversations with each other they will make proposals, and then when a proposal has been made, I can say, um, I agree, I want to go ahead with it, or I'm happy for the group to decide without me. I don't think that this is the best proposal we can come up and I think we can do better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to abstain from this one. When I state my position, I'm waiting for further comments before I decide. You can come back and you can um, um, revise your position later on. So you maybe later on I'll agree or I'll disagree. But as people vote, so it records all the results. So it's absolutely ideal for democratic decision making. Um, it, it, it enables people who aren't able to meet face to face um, to make decisions together, even if they're in different parts of the world. Even if they're in the same room, you could use this just to record your decisions. So that's the essence of this. Uh, before I sign off, though, I just want to quickly show you that the other parts of the fair shares model, we've talked about users, we've talked about labor. The directors are people who are elected into a governing body. The founders are the people who um, brought the organization into existence, the original subscribers on documents sent to Companies House or Registrar of Friendly Societies, and you may have investors as well. You probably won't have investors if you're an association, but it's possible to have investors if you're a cooperative or a company. And if you grow quite large, there's provision for an audit committee which checks the quality of the material. So that's it. That's your introduction to the Fair Shares Model Enterprise, and we hope you'll join the group, join the discussion, um, and apply the fair shares model in your work on a day-to-day -day basis to make workplace democracy a reality. Thank you.